From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. It is Thursday, July the 9th. I'm Eric Parker. Governor Ned Lamont will be providing some more information today on how he plans to get Connecticut kids back to school this fall. He's already released some details, which include safety restrictions like a mask requirement and separating students. A video conference is set for 11 with education leaders. To the latest coronavirus numbers now, they show a slight increase not only in cases, but also hospitalizations and deaths. More than 75 additional people in Connecticut tested positive with COVID-19 yesterday. Five people have five more people have died and hospitalizations have gone up by five. That brings the total number to 88 people being treated in hospitals here in Connecticut. Today, we are expecting to learn about the state of jobs across the country amid the ongoing pandemic. The new jobs numbers today come as jobs slowly made a comeback last week. The Labor Department says a better than expected 4.8 million jobs were added last month. Still, others are still being laid off. At last check, 1.4 million Americans had filed for unemployment. Scott. All right, thanks, Eric. Let's take a look at the forecast for today. It's calling for warm numbers, actually hot. Temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 80s and low 90s, but with the heat indices, that's when you combine the relative humidity and the temperature, it's going to feel like it's in the mid 90s, so like 95 degree real feel up in inland Connecticut. A little bit better along the shoreline. Tonight, warm and muggy with areas of fog developing. It'll be partly cloudy, but uh, we are expecting areas of fog to develop by tomorrow morning, very similar to this morning. And then you saw Seven-day forecast. Well, unfortunately, we have issued an early warning weather alert for Friday and sat into Saturday. Uh, the result of a coastal storm that's going to bring us a pretty good amount of rain could pick up anywhere from one to two to possibly even three inches of rain, depending on the storm track. So we'll certainly keep you posted. But Friday night into Saturday morning, not looking too particularly good. We do need the rain around here. I don't know if we need that much rain in a very short period of time. There could even be some embedded thunderstorms Friday and Saturday as well. So keep your eyes to the skies if they look threatening head indoors. Sunday is definitely the the better of the two weekend days is going to be warm 91 degrees with a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms and then Monday more of the same Tuesday more of the same Wednesday we finally dry things out the humidity goes down but the temperatures stay up that's a check of your early warning forecast I'm meteorologist Scott Haney in the early warning forecast center at channel 3 hoping you all have a great safe and healthy Thursday eyewitness news is everywhere get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the channel 3 streaming news app